A bullet gazes past Alia. Arav is responsible for this attack on Alia. To save her life, Alia quickly hides under the bed. Hidden Alia calls Mehul. But Mehul is in an important meeting with Detective Aslam and cannot answer the call. Alia, what will happen to you now? Who attacked me? Before Alia could do anything, more people enters her room. Boss, that girl is not here. Fools, look around carefully. She must be hiding inside this room. Alia is very intelligent. Oh, these are Arav's men. Wait, Arav. It seems you didn't understood anything from the trailer. I will have to make a complete picture for you. Alia recalls her combat training, where she was learning the skills she is about to use now. As Alia is contemplating, more people enter the room. It seems I'm like today's my last day. She must be hiding somewhere around here. Check under the bed. There's no one here. Bingo. Mr. Invisible. Where did that girl go? I won't spare her. Now, I'll give them a tough time. Hey, holy lord, stir up some chaos. Alia puts all her strength into lifting the bed and starts spinning it around. Despite her injured hand, Alia manages to beat up Arav's men. See, the power of yoga. I thought I didn't have time for the gym, so I decided to exercise during an action scene. Hey friends, did you enjoy it? My name is Alia. You must have heard it. Oh, I should have become an action heroine, right? Alia still fired up yeah. from the recent fight, oh. immediately runs towards Dr. Sanjana's room. Oh, Mr. Cool Beans is here. He must definitely be involved with Arev. Can you guess why Alia thought that Mr. Cool is involved with Arif? Let me know your answer by commenting. Dude, there's a shootout going on here, and he's sipping coffee as if he's in some cafe. Clearly, Mr. Manager doesn't even have a tea of tension. Come to your senses, Mr. Latte, or I'll show you moves of my karate. Ma'am, ma'am, what happened to you? And this, is this a gun? Yes, genius. Now tell me, how did Arav got my location? Ma'am, I have a friend who used to work with Arav, bro. Arav had announced everyone that whoever gives information about Aliyah will receive a reward of one lakh rupees. It seems you haven't heard about Detective Mehul. From Mumbai to London, Mehul, sir, has influenced everyone and you've chosen the wrong side. Now, make friends with this pillar. Alia lands a powerful punch on the manager and ties him to a pillar. 
Alia immediately reaches in front of Dr. Sanjana's room. Alia knocks on the door to enter Dr. Sanjana's room. However, there is no response. A while ago, there were noises of gunshots here, and now this silence. Why hasn't Dr. Sanjana come out despite the gunfire? There must be something wrong for sure. The door opens, but Alia quickly hides to the side. Dr. Sanjana doesn't come out. There's something fishy. Dr. Sanjana seems unaware of the firing. Now, it's time to act. Alia shows up to the hotel manager and removes the tape from his mouth. Now speak up. Where is Dr. Sanjana? Tell me quickly, or it's a game over for you. Ma'am, um, Raghu has held captive Dr. Sanjana at gunpoint in her own room. All right. Let's start the mission to save Dr. Sanjana. Alia put the tape back on the manager and leaves him back and set out to save Dr. Sanjana. Let's go Alia, it's showtime. It's time to save Dr. Sanjana. Alia begins to plan her entry. She was unsure how to get inside. If she went in directly, Ragu would likely attack her. But Alia had a plan. Bless me God! Today I am in full action mode. Alia lies inside a fruit trolley and makes her way to Dr. Sanjana's room. As soon as the fruit trolley enters inside... Now watch, Alia. One, two, three, four, Ragu starts throwing knives at Alia. Ragu is also known as a knife master. He is an expert at throwing knives. Even with closed eyes, he can hit any target. What is this? Hands up, Ragu! But first, tell me, did you have breakfast today? What is this? Because your face looks hungry. My hands are enough for you. Alia showcase her signature moves. What is this? A slip of fate, Ragu. Lesson learned, Ragu. Never underestimate Alia. Alia apprehends Ragu and informs the detective society. The police also arrive at the scene. Alia, taking Dr. Sanjana with her, leaves the place. Meanwhile, Mayhul and Detective Aslam inside a club, keeping a close eye, eagerly awaiting Marco and Michael. The club is filled with a crowd of dangerous smugglers from around the world, but Mayhul and Aslam's plan is solely focused on capturing Marco and Michael. Both have bulletproof vests under their jackets to protect themselves from the underworld's sharpshooters. For an extra stylish touch, Mayhul has adorned a heavy gold chain around his neck, a perfect disguise. Concealed within their jackets are guns and smoke crackers, prepared for any emergency situation. It was about to hit midnight just when Alia's video call comes on Mayhul's phone. Alia calling so late at night, something must be wrong. On the video call, Alia and Dr. Sanjana are in a hospital. Seeing a bandage on Dr. Sanjana's hand, Mayhul becomes even more worried. What happened, Alia? Is everything okay? Sir, Arif has escaped from jail and his goons attacked us this morning in the hotel. The hotel manager was also with them. There's a guy named Raga too. Alia narrates the whole story to Mayhul and how she taught Ragu a lesson. Alia, what did you do to him? Nothing, sir. Just a little beating. Suddenly, Detective Aslam whispers something in Mayhul's ear. Alia, you scared me. I have some urgent work now. Let's talk tomorrow. Take care. Sir, sir, just a minute, sir. Sir, look, Marco's bodyguard is signaling with his left hand each time. Sometimes one, sometimes two, and sometimes three. Absolutely right, Aslam. Your observation skills are excellent. When we entered, he signaled one. Maybe Marco has arrived.
respect Marco enters, everyone starts shaking hands with him and showing a lot of respect. Marco is accompanied by four bodyguards. He seems very powerful. He is the king of the Asian smuggling market. Let's make him a beggar from somewhere. If plan A doesn't succeed, we'll execute plan B. Miho, look at that waiter. He seems greedy for money, collecting tips everywhere. Perfect. We'll execute our plan A through him. Underworld smugglers have a special identification card in yellow, with a design so unique that duplicating it is impossible. Without this card, Mayhul and Aslam cannot enter that high-level meeting. So, Mayhul devises a clever plan. He discreetly hands a stack of notes to the same waiter and gives him specific instructions. Mayhul and Aslam go to separate bathrooms. My clothes, you bastard! Sorry, sorry, sir, my mistake. I will clean your clothes. Both smugglers shove the waiter away and head towards the restroom. As soon as that man opens the door, Mayhul grabs the smuggler's yellow card, tapes his mouth, and locks him inside. Meanwhile, Aslam is waiting in the other bathroom. The smuggler is very powerful. Aslam's attempt fails. The smuggler grabs Aslam and throws him aside. Somehow, Aslam manages to render him unconscious with the help of chloroform and takes his yellow card and lock him inside. Mayhul and Aslam, using the yellow cards, reach near the meeting room. The bodyguards standing outside the room carefully inspect their cards. Sorry sir, you can go now. Mayhul and Aslam enter the underworld meeting room. The room was set up like a theater. Marco, in front of the projector, was discussing the possibilities in the Asian market. There are lots of possibilities. We can't depend on Big Daddy. We can create our own kingdom. But I won't, I won't let, let you, you do, do that. that. Michael, with his bodyguards, enters the room. With Michael's arrival, the smugglers become terrified. Stay alert, boss. There can be a gang war between Marco and Michael any time. Stop, Michael. We can find a solution to the problem through negotiation. If you keep fighting amongst yourselves, we'll be the ones to suffer. Smugglers attempt to negotiate with Michael and Marco. Michael has so much security. Capturing him here is impossible. We will have to execute plan B. Mayhul takes out a smoke cracker from his jacket. The room fills with smoke, and people, troubled by coughing, start running in random directions. But Marco's bodyguards become suspicious of Michael and start firing. Chaos ensues in the club. Michael's bodyguards manage to escort him out of the club somehow. In the basement, Aslam is ready with a bike, waiting for Mayhul. Let's go, Aslam. Suddenly, a missile bomb blasts near the bike. Mayhul turns around to see a person throwing a bomb from the car's window. Aslam, drive bikes zigzagly, otherwise, they will shoot us. But eventually, Aslam hits the brake. What happened, Aslam? Sir, there are three paths ahead, I am confused. Can you tell which one of the three paths should they take? Let me know your answer in the comments. Carefully observe, on the first path, there is a lot of mud, and the bike could slip. On the third path, there are sharp stones that could damage the bike's tires. 
The second path has dry leaves, but it won't harm the bike. Aslam, take the second path. Aslam, you're an expert at riding a bike. I am not an expert yet, sir, but I am improving. Aslam accelerates the bike at full speed and moves ahead. Ahead there is a bridge. The bridge was very massive and there was a huge river below the bridge. Aslam and Mehul were about to cross the bridge when suddenly two cars appear in front and start firing. Now, Mehul and Aslam have no way to escape. The car behind them is launching bombs while the car in front is firing. Sir, there is no option. No, no, stop, Aslam. But before Mehul can do anything, Aslam accelerates the bike in the air and makes it fall into the river. They can't survive after falling from here. They must be dead. Let's go. Congratulations, Daddy. Detective Mehul is finished. Is Big Daddy alive? But what happened to Mehul and Aslam? We will see in the next episode.